Did you know that having your family's portraits hanging in your home could help improve your child's self-esteem? Well, they can. And today I'm going to tell you exactly how they can as well as several other reasons why having your family portraits taken is very important. The first way family portraits can help is learning your family's history. And this can be in individual family member portraits or the family portraits as a whole. And if you're over the age of say 30 like I am, you probably remember going to your mom's or your grandma's house and them having a shoebox or albums full of photos of past family members. I know personally my grandma had both and that is how I learned about some of my family members and it allows the kids or yourself really to ask questions and you can learn about family that have since passed away and learn how they have shaped your family into the family you are now and you can find similarities with other family members or other relatives and it helps connect us to those family members if we've lost them recently. I know when my mother-in-law died, my wife and her sister had so many pictures to go through and it brought back so many memories. And if they didn't have those pictures, they wouldn't have had that connection that they developed while looking at those pictures. And then portraits can help document growth. You know, school pictures are popular for a reason. You get to see how your kid progresses and how their features change each year and truthfully it should be the same with family portraits you can show how your family grows over time whether it's additional family members you know new babies or whatever or just that same age progression and see how each of you grow think of it like this it can be something like a family growth chart you know a lot of parents like to have little marks on the wall as their kids get older and this is a great way to do something similar in a more visual way that can be seen by anyone as soon as they walk into your house and really it's never been easier to have all these pictures done now that we all have phones that can take pictures it can also be a great way to capture memories Family portraits or portraits in general don't have to be boring. It don't. It's not all about sitting there and going, "Geez, you know, you can have fun with it." And portraits, family or individuals, do not have to be boring. It can be fun, and it's important to have fun pictures because they remind us, even the kids, of the good times, and it gives us motivation to carry through the bad times when they do come, and they can help us forget about the fear and the self-doubt that plagues self-esteem and gets us down at times. So being able to see these pictures is a great way to boost self-esteem and the self-image that you hold. And going back to one of the points I made a while ago, it can help us remember these happy times that we've had with our loved ones that had passed. And family photos can manifest emotions that words cannot. I think having fun in your family portraits is super important. That's why I suggest having lifestyle portraits done. It's not about posing with lifestyle portraits. It's about being yourself, living your life. A photographer, if you find the right one, can come into your home and find you in your natural environment, going about your normal day, having fun with your kids while they're playing their video games, or you're reading to them, or you're baking with them, any such thing. That can catch your moments that normal portraits cannot. It's not about sitting in one spot, it's about moving around, having fun. And the best part about it, most photographers that do lifestyle portraits in your home will let you wear whatever you want to whatever you're comfortable it captures you in your element we live in a world where digital has taken over i mean everything is digital now you have amazon music you have spotify and all this other stuff and kindle for books and truthfully i'm reading my notes off of a digital tablet too so i don't have to have pen and paper around me so yeah digital can be very convenient I think digital photos took over with the rise of social media and now most people expect digital photos over physical photos including photographers and many don't even offer printed photos anymore it's all about digital burn them on a cd or a usb drive and just get one back to you it's a quicker turnaround for them like that and really, I think that is why digital photos took over printed photos, because it is more convenient for the photographers. And like everybody else, photographers follow trends, such as the color pop. 
it, like those pictures of where it's just the eye that's colored and everything else is in black and white or this picture that's on screen right now where the lavender is the only color there is and then like every Christmas your Facebook feed is flooded with Grinch photos after that one photo the Grinch that was scaring the kids took off everybody started doing it and it became a trend and that is by no means put any photographer down I get it they do what gets the money but it is a trend what is crazy is that due to phones this is the most photograph generation ever but they also have the least amount of, of physical prints to show for it but I'm gonna let you know why having just the digital photos is a bad idea for one technology changes I mean when was the last time you seen one of these and and did you know that most computers don't even come with a CD or a DVD drive anymore? The laptop I have sitting right off to my side, it does not have a CD drive in it. And also, many computers don't come with card readers. Same thing, my laptop does not have a card reader. I have to plug in an external USB drive just to be able to read my SD card off my camera. And a lot of computers aren't even coming with USB drives anymore, or they're going to be very limited on the number of parts that they do have. And a lot of it is all due to the fact that everything is moving to cloud storage, or people keep everything on social media. Let me ask you this, what happens if you lose access to your cloud storage or your social media? What happens if social media goes away like MySpace did, or might as well have? What happens if you lose your device? And what happens if your storage device gets corrupted? What happens if it gets stolen? What happens if the technology goes away? The simple answer is, you lose it all. Now I want you to raise your hand if he had failed to get a picture taken that you had planned to. <laughs> is your hand up? I bet it should be. I mean, I know mine is because I'm guilty of it too. I have thousands and thousands of pictures that I wanted to get printed and I never have. I mean, everyone is guilty. Most people who have family portraits done are guilty of paying for the session and looking at the photos, finding their favorite and posting it on social, and then never printing a single one. And to me, that's a colossal waste of money, especially if you lose a device or access to that social media account. Even if you try to keep the social and you lose your digital copies, printing off of social media sucks. The quality sucks. Facebook and Instagram and all of that, they bring the quality down and the prints are just not worth having. But on the flip side, there are some enormous benefits to having prints done. And some that you or your photographer might have never even thought about. But one is technology free. You don't have to worry about changing or outdated technology. You don't have to worry about charging the device or turning or unlocking the device. You don't have to worry about losing access to the cloud or social media account or your device. And you don't have to worry about distractions like ads or other apps or notifications or any such thing. And then not everyone has a social media account, so maybe your grandma or your mom or your sister can't even see the pictures. You don't have to worry about wasting money because you never have prints done. And prints are universal. Anyone can pick them up and look at them without any problem. And what's really amazing is that I've heard several stories of people who had dementia or Alzheimer's pick up pictures and were able to tell you in almost exact detail where it was taken, when it was taken, and who was in the picture when they can't even tell you who was sitting beside them. It's just amazing that photographs had that much of a impact on somebody's memory. And like I said in the intro, it can also help build your family self-esteem, which I'm going to get to in a minute. And then finally, family portraits can become family heirlooms. If you find the right photographer with the right products, those prints can last for almost ever. And you can pass them down to your children and then them their children and so forth and so on. And then if you have too many in your house already and you want to keep buying more year after year, you can always give older prints and skills. Nobody's going to care that it's an older print. They can just see it as a welcome gift of a family portrait. And then going through these family portraits, whether it's in an album, a shoebox, or on the wall, can be a bonding moment for the family. And I know you're going to ask, doesn't prints have their faults too? 
well, certainly you, they can burn, can be lost in a flood or been lost around the house or any such thing, but so can digital prints. You can lose your device, your device can burn or flood or be lost, and you might not be able to access that anymore. I hinted at this one in the intro of this video and also a couple seconds ago. That's how family portraits can improve your family self-esteem. And it's something that many photographers and parents don't even realize when thinking of family portraits. And truthfully, it's the reason for this video. And it does wrap all the other topics in the, included in this video into one nice little package. I first heard of this concept in a photography podcast I like to listen to called the Boca Photography podcast and it was episode 324 with Raquita Henderson and that episode did inspire me to hang more family portraits and it's something I'm still working on something I'm still building up and you can see I have three portraits over here and another one over here and some more scattered across the house in that episode Raquita mentioned a study that was done in 1975 at Tulane University that study lasted five weeks, and it consisted of fourth graders that had low self-esteem scores. Each of the students in this study was given Polaroid cameras and was instructed to take self-portraits of themselves in various poses and emotions. They had to make a weekly scrapbook and put all these different pictures in these scrapbooks. At the end of the five weeks, there was a 37% increase in the children's self-esteem. In the same episode, she talked about how her own family benefited from having portraits hung in their homes. Her kids had a better sense of self-worth, and other parents were able to see this. Likewise, other studies and psychologists have also proven that displaying family portraits is important because it's incredibly healthy for your children to physically see the family as a unit and to see themselves represented as a valued member of that unit and it lets them know that they belong and loved and how they fit into the unit. And displaying different stages of their life with annual photos allows them to see their progress and they can feel a sense of satisfaction and it will actually build their self-esteem. It's also been said that it's a great idea to have a family portrait in their room so they can see it every day. It can be one of the first things they see when they wake up in the morning and one of the last things they see before they go to bed at night. And a kid's self-esteem is important because it helps them see the good qualities about themselves and believe in their abilities and helps them handle and move past mistakes when they, they make them. And then they also get stronger values, a stronger sense of purpose, increased resiliency to bad situations, and better stress management. And on the flip side of that, low self-esteem makes them feel like they don't fit in. Might make them believe that other kids don't like them or that they're not as good as other kids. And then when they fail, they dwell on what went wrong instead of jumping back up and trying it again. And then they self-criticize themselves and are extra tough on themselves. I want you to think of it like this. When we're in school, we learn history through books, many of which contains pictures of important peoples and events. So why not teach your own family's history through the same way with images of the family and that can be in a shoebox or an album or on the wall. Memories are important and family is important. So why miss the opportunity to encase these memories of your family in images and display that memory on the wall or your home so you can be reminded of them every single day. And I hope by now, at the end of this video, that you can see how important family portraits are. And it encourages you to go out and get some done so your family can know how important they are. And you can keep these memories forever.